Hi guys, hello and welcome to the second tutorial on this channel. Basically today I'm going to show you how to create a Hexit server. It's the same concept as the Techit Lite server, but I will show you exactly how to do it. So again, you want to get a folder where your Hexit stuff will be kept. Um, so just call it Hexit and you should be fine. You want to open up the zip that you've downloaded from the technicpack.net slash Hexit and you click the download button there and then click Hexit download. Link will be in the description below as always. You want to drag and drop all of that into the Hexit folder so as you've got all the files there so as the server can actually start um, just need to wait for that to sort itself out and you will also need the 1.5 version of 1.52 version of MCPC which you can get here link will also be in the description below um, so yeah you will need the top link there at this link so that one there and it should come up there hit keep and you should be able to that will download I don't need it because I've already got it <laughs> oh sorry about that um, this, I believe there's more mods in the Hexit server, so it may take a little bit longer to actually unpack. So I'll pause the recording there, and I'll be back as soon as it's finished unpacking itself. So now that's finished unpacking, we can close the zip down and open this folder here. Um, first thing you want to do once you get into this folder is delete that Hexit.jar and replace it with this one and rename that to Hexit so that this launch.bat will recognize it. Um, I will change that down once again to 1 gig so I can actually run it. And with that being called Hexit I'm just going to double check that it's yep the format is correct with that being hexit now that will connect to that jar and should create all the plugins folders and stuff like that that it needs so it will also again download all of the stuff that it needs bit by bit activate all the mods and it should be it should run smoothly um, and obviously again with MCPC it sh it's a lot more lag free than it is with any other way of running it like Bucket Forge that's laggy as hell don't use it MCPC is the best way to have your um, plugins that you want on it um, and have everything else on there that you want so if you want to run one of these servers with the mod packs use MCPC and not Bucket Forge can't stress that enough. Bucket Forge is re it, it doesn't work properly. It creates a lot of lag, and to be quite honest, I used to use it. It didn't work out. So this seems to be working fine. And once you've worked out what plugins you want to add, you just put them in there in the plugins folder, and you should, and it'll be fine and dandy. Like this obviously has several worlds because there are different dimensions um, all the core mods like tree capitator and stuff don't mess around with them as m too much uh, unless you know what you're doing and again the mods 
if you want to disable st a few things like miscraft all you need to do is delete the folder or delete whatever thing it's in uh, I'm not even sure if miscraft is in here actually can't remember uh... where was it I don't know it or what if you want to disable mods like dimensional doors for example you just delete that folder and it will be fine like it, the server should still start perfectly fine um, anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget if you do create a live server list it on minecraftserver.net or minecraft-server.net the link will be in the description below with his with that server list come on guys let's try and get some get more people on there more people using it and that will help the owners of that site that will help the people that are already using the site the server owners it will help everyone so guys get over there show them some love the fa they've, they've also got a facebook page being launched that will also be in the description so just show them some love and get their name out there See you guys next time. Goodbye.